Hi, and welcome back to the Heads Up. It's June 2019. Well, you can see that I'm back. I'm Danielle Story. I want to do a huge thanks to Rachel from Paperclip, who stepped out and did an amazing job last month. She was so entertaining. What did I say last time? It was really good, and now I've forgotten. We're here at EIBC. Oh, yeah. We're here Hi, guys. We're here at EIBC talking to the winners. Is it EIBC? It is EIBC. Start again, start again. Hey, uh, what have we got going on this month? Well, in this episode, you're going to hear our expert, Damien Lacey from OE Partners. And you might have even seen him as part of Bluestone Yeast as well, but he's going to give us some great expert tips. And you're also going to hear from our six for six pitch winners, Dio Blockchain, because they're doing some amazing stuff around blockchain for logistics. It's just a, a cutting edge technology that they're working with. We've also been busy recording podcasts over the last couple of months, and uh, there's some, just some fascinating information and stuff that you're going to be able to listen to on your car on the way into the centre or um, perhaps if it's, you know, you're sitting in a line somewhere. Really short, sharp, 25, 30 minute clips, audio clips, so that you can learn things that you can do that'll make you a better founder, that'll help your venture and just amazing inspiration. One we recorded last week is Alg Seaweed and that's a just a huge market coming through in this seaweed market so you're going to be able to hear all about what that means and uh, the one we've done this month with IU Flow and that's another inspiring story in the medtech space so make sure that you're downloading and listening to those podcasts wherever you get your good podcasts or jump on our website or on any of our social media and you'll find the links there. What have we got coming up in June for you? On June 14th, we've got a session on how advisory boards can help your venture. We are super keen to do a heap more around advisory boards over the coming 12 months because we feel the more experts you've got around you with the right structures, the faster you'll be able to scale and grow. So keep your eye out for more of that and come to the session on June 14. On June 20, we're redoing our pitch night. So if you're not in our centre and you want to be, you're going to want to pitch for six months space in our dynamic zone. It is just such a great opportunity. So make sure you're registering to pitch for the six for six night. If you're already one of our amazing on-site clients here at EIBC, then you'll get the chance to pitch for a special prize. We haven't finalised it yet, but I'm in the process of negotiating it and it's pretty cool, so stay tuned for that prize. Again, you'll be able to get the chance to register for the pitch night and that's on June 20. On June 25th, we've got a session validating your business idea. Validating your idea is one of the most powerful things you can do and continuing to validate. Have I got a product that people are going to pay me money for? Have I got a product that a market actually wants? So that's a great session. Make sure you look out for that. So uh, stay tuned. You'll be able to hear from the experts from Damien and from the DO blockchain team. And I'm sure there's a bit of a snippet coming on what's happening around Eastern innovation at the moment. Enjoy June. Yes, it's end of financial year. Yes, it's getting cold, although who could tell today? Uh, it is, uh, we're going to hunker down. We're going to be able to do great things with our ventures. And as always, we're here for you. Reach out if we can do anything to help your adventures. See you soon. Okay, so the world of AAA is a very busy place. Um, so currently we have um, over 28 access keys under development. Um, as well as that, we have a lot more new ones in the pipeline, um, still waiting on back order. Um, it's great to be working with a lot of local governance at the moment, um, and it's really terrific to see the local councils prioritising their community in terms of the accessibility and the inclusion um, for community members. So it's lovely to be showcasing so many of the community facilities, including libraries, community houses, recreational centres. Um, the list really is quite endless. Um, so it's terrific to be able to give that gift of calm and confidence to the community whilst working with local governance. So that's pretty much it in the world of AAA. We're just very busy making a difference in the community for people of all abilities to enjoy. This turn on. It's already on. So if I swear, it, it's already picked it up. Hi, this, this month we had an event with Good Beer Week where we uh, tasted lots of different beers with different strains of yeast. It was called Insane in the Yeast Strain. It was a great uh, event with lots of brewers and lots of home brewers and everybody had a good time. We're filming and I'm talking. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Jane from the Business of Food and, and we've got some really good um, workshops coming up in in relation to our core market, which is food businesses who have an idea for a product that goes into a packet for a retail shelf, um, including things like exciting things like n- nutritional information panels or um, an information session on how to sell to a retailer, that kind of stuff. And, and usually we have a networking group that happens once a month as well. A lot of businesses struggle uh, with standard operating procedures and having um, a consistent way of doing things. They're reinventing the wheel every time they approach a task. They get variation in terms of output. Um, they get complaints and quality problems um, from what they do. Now, most businesses, when they're starting out and growing, they don't have much in the way of SOPs. Um, and they, they know that they should, um, I mean, one standard to try and aim for is, you know, ISO 9000. But that's a daunting gap to bridge if you're a small and growing business. And so, a lot of businesses don't know where to start. A good place to start is, firstly, accept that you don't need a procedure for everything in your business. Um, secondly, you, you've got to start with those processes which vary quite a lot. If you give it to three different people to do, and it's three different outcomes, that's an indication that you need a standard, yeah? Second key, um, key factor to say you need a standard is does quality get directly affected by this process, yeah? That's, that's your other you know, red flag for, for creating a standard. Um, the Deo Blockchain's team, strength is in the diversity of the people. We're very fortunate to be surrounded by talented people. We have a PhD in machine learning, we have an IBM cloud champion, and we have one of the first master trainers in blockchain in Australia. Um, then it comes to us, the co-founders. Uh, we're very complementary in our skill sets. I'm clinical, data-driven, um, whereas Sarge is more intuitive, um, the big picture person, um, really sort of problem solving. So it's a really good blend for our company. Blockchain technology and blockchain technology or the platform gives you a couple of criteria. One, um, visibility, gives you immutability, so the data is uh, cannot be corrupted, changed or manipulated. It's looking at um, truth, not what should have happened, but what actually happened or what is happening. And we've taken that and built it upon uh, a, a multi-layered platform that helps us to take what's in the market through the assets and all the data that's flowing and bring it together and provide a uh, one platform for multi parties, which is what happens in supply chains, to come and work on one platform to be able to work better, to get better alignment and to improve efficiency. Mm -hmm.